<laughs> Welcome back to Baseball Feud. We have Jack and Jake today. They will be competing as always. I have seven new questions. If you get the number one answer right, that's five points. Five answer, one point, and you get free wrong guesses per round. Are you guys ready? Yes. I have good news. That's not my voice. We have a sample size of 2,800 people this time. Wow. Last time we had 1,500 people, and the people decided, hey, we're going to almost double it. Wow. And give you guys more results. I love the people. Well, I have our first question on the board for you guys. And I asked our audience, if MLB did add an expansion team, where would it go? My guess is I lost. Or does winner take it? You guys decide amongst yourselves. I feel like we're a loser-focused program. I agree. I think I would we lead like, Jack. We like to give love to the losers. Yeah, we don't, if we're playing 1v1, we don't play winners. Um, show me oh. cowboy hat, country music, Nashville. Nashville, that's your guess? It's the one. Yeah. Tell me it's the one. It is our number one Yay. answer. Nashville is correct. <laughs> <laughs> did you not did you not like how I responded to you, Jack? <laughs> uh, I was just questioning. I, I read through his shit. I didn't like my you delivery. Kinda, that didn't get that didn't get by you guys no. immediately. <laughs> is this worldwide or US? North America. North America. North America. I feel like I gave a hint. I will guess Montreal. And Montreal would be our number two answer. Good guess, That's Jake. number two. That really? is our number People two People are into answer. that. I think the bringing back to an old yeah. market is a very attractive uh, yeah. thing That's what I was people. saying. I was like, that would be my next guess because people are like, bring back the Expos. Jake, number two answer. Jack, the number one answer. What a start. What a start by yeah, us. Yeah, we get a lot of that, like, bring back to the old market. Yeah. Even, not to say hockey again. Hartford, big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People Ooh. love an old retro logo. Yeah. So I was thinking another out of the U.S. team, but I feel like it's not a good that's crazy. guess here. I have to tell you that's crazy. But okay. I think it's a better answer than Montreal. Well, I'm going to guess it. Puerto Rico. Oh. That is a very fun one, but it's not on our board. It did get some votes, but not enough to crack the okay. top five. That's your first X. That would be sick. It yeah. would be. That is my vote for, like, please wow. do that. And it's doable. It's very doable. That I mean, would it would be, be awesome. Number yep. one pick would be Puerto Rico. Um, okay, zero points. That's a, that's the first that X one. of our video. That's a zero point guess. I have I have one city above this, but I think social media is impactful here. Mm -hmm. Show me Jack's Portland pickle. Portland is our number three answer. Wow, Jake, I didn't think you were going to be able to pull that one off. What was the motivation for that? Well, the Portland Portland pickles have for a pretty sure. big. Um, social media presence mm -hmm. and um, one of the I don't know it's not a big thing with baseball but Seattle is such an outlier like their travel is so much worse than every other team yeah. so they would love like a local rivalry I've been on I don't think this is an answer but I've been on the main train lately <laughs> the what I'm train a, the main train oh I thought you meant you were on a train to Maine a no, lot lately you could I was like, do what that. are you doing in Maine but like Portland Maine Maine's nice I think like the main lobsters, the just like having the, something like northeast. Oh, maybe. if they shared a team, whoa! Both coasts, like half a season they play the West Coast teams, half a season they play the East Coast teams. That's really cool. Portland and Portland. That's really that's cool. the coolest cool. thing we've that's ever thought. Cool. Of. Yeah, that's almost awesome. as cool as a team in Puerto Rico, but not as cool. Right. <laughs> All right. So I'm actually a little stumped now. Portland was not on my radar. Getting the number one here was actually pretty big. That was getting the first guess. Jake being generous, huge. The loser games. All right, I'm going to go with New Orleans. New Orleans. Ooh, Ooh good poll. He w a lot of votes, but not in our top okay. five. That was a good guess, though. Thanks. That was a good guess. One of the cities that I think could happen, Charlotte, is also on our board. It's a number five answer, okay. Charlotte. One that point. was a good. I was surprised to see Charlotte because I haven't seen any like bring a team to Charlotte. Not a lot of hubbub. What no. they already what? <laughs> Not a lot of hubbub, bro. They have <laughs> their minor league team. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just run casually pass by a lot of hubbub. Yeah. Shout out that hooliganery and hubbub. What the bro. hell is that? <laughs> that was crazy. In my past life, I I did sell newspapers on the streets of New York in 1930. There's a lot of hubbub about this. Thinking, like, is it another funny business, like another California team? That's um, not what I have. Oh. That was your second question. Uh, I don't know if this wants to be there. I think you're on it. Yeah? That would be, that's my own, my final guess. Oh, does it? Vegas. Vegas is our number four answer. Okay. I feel like that's. It's on the mind. It's. 
I it, had Vegas it's going It's like in. happening, but it's not. Yeah. I it thought Vegas was going to be a clear number one just because it's happening. Right. So I thought a lot of people would be like, yeah, Vegas. After, clear the board. Nice job. Yeah, nice job by us. After one round, it is Jake eight and Jack seven. So we got a tight matchup. Good job. Mm. And that brings us to our next question, which Jake gets to lead us off. Nice. What is the coolest in-game accomplishment in baseball? And if you guys need some clarification, for example, like uh, a no-hitter, an example. Right. That's like an in-game so accomplishment. So this is pitching and hitting. Everything in a single in game. defense. Okay. And defense. I will be flexible. They're vague. With your answers. Okay. If you get the general spirit of it, I will give it to you. Okay. okay. I will go with uh, throwing a perfect game. Throwing a perfect game received 71% yeah. of the vote and is our number one sense. answer, and I agree with the masses. It's rare. It is the coolest thing ever. I'm guessing walk-off homer. That's incorrect. Mm. It was not on our board, and I did not see a ton of home runs for it. A that, t- ton of home runs. That was almost for it. my first guess. I thought that was number two. Easy. I'm between two right now. What's nope. cooler? What do the people think is cooler? You know what's cooler? Robbing a home run. Mm. That is incorrect. Mm. So did you Mark. drop this? Oh. <laughs> hey. Show me triple play. Whoa. That is our number five wow. answer, the triple play, <laughs> which just beat out our number six answer, the unassisted triple play. Barely Lighting that is that. crazy. <laughs> We're bookended by perfect game and triple play. Uh, you do not enjoy either which of those means the number three answer is hitting for the cycle. Next. Well, I would love to give you the number three answer, but you'll have to settle for the number two answer, uh, which is hitting see, for the cycle. See, I told cycle. you they were basic. A little basic there. I think that's corporate bullshit. Like, I want to just no hitter. I think I have to. No hitter. That is our number six answer. Okay. That is correct. I thought unassisted triple play was number six. Oh, you're right. That's How our many number sixes. Are you're there? right. That's our number seven. My bad. We're stealing home. That is incorrect. <laughs> I would love if there's something like really lame, like mound visit. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch clock violation. <laughs> Hopefully, you give me a little bit of leverage here. I'm going to say four home run game. I'm going to give you zero leverage because you got it exactly right. That is our number wow. four answer the four home run game. <laughs> game ending dive and catch. That is incorrect. I mean, yeah. It's yeah. very cool. That is your nice third strike. strike. First strikeout of the video. Hidden ball trick is floating around. Whoa. You're in a dark space. No, <laughs> no way, Pop. Oh. Immaculate inning? That is correct. That is wow. our number three answer. The immaculate oh inning. Oh, my God. I love when I talk myself to the right answer. That was very impressive. I thought you had no shot of getting that. Like I had the wrong answer. answer. Oh, what did you have? Oh, no, I had a Maggie. <laughs> what are the best minor league baseball team names? And, Jack, you have a chance to take the lead if you get the number one answer correct. This is a sneaky Jack category, too. I'm going to go with the Trash Pandas. They are our number one answer by a landslide. Really? 64% of the vote wow. went with the Rocket City Trash Pandas. That's- I'm going to go, uh, you know, you could take the boy out of Connecticut, but you can't take the Connecticut out of the boy. Give me the Hartford Yard Goats. <laughs> Incorrect. Yeah, I know. It was incorrect last time, too. <laughs> Montgomery Biscuits. Our number two answer. No the Montgomery way. Biscuits. Jack. Biscuit, my panda. I think this is fair both ways. The bananas aren't on the board, right? No. Okay. The Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. No. That's a tough one. Show me the jumbo shrimp. You want the jumbo shrimp? Give them. I don't have those. Mm-hmm. What's a... Uh, are they the Sugarland Skeeters? The Sugarland Skeeters? They were. They were. They changed, they to, the changed to the Space Cowboys. Cowboys. And that is correct. That is our number five answer. The Sugarland Space oh, Cowboys. Five counts, yeah. The Blue Wahoos? That is incorrect. I'm so sad with that yeah. guess. They've been in the news lately, so I thought that's why. I don't know. Toledo Mud Hens. Incorrect, I know, Jake. I, mean, I knew. You have struck out. Jack, you have one more strike. There are still five points remaining on our board. You are up by four. I believe in you. The Marlboro Reds. I don't believe in you anymore. That was a bad guess. That is incorrect. Mm. And you have struck out our two remaining answers. We're at number four, we had my loyal family and friend, the Rumble oh, Ponies. Shit. 
And at number three, we had a guest that Jake dropped on Sea Isotopes. At mm. number three. The audience agreed with you. I was so phased by them not being involved last time that yeah. I didn't. Okay. Holy smokes. And I bring out maybe Jeez. a G category. Tatis, Who jazz is chism. the best shortstop in baseball? And this, this poll was conducted today. This was conducted today, September 19th. The best shortstop in baseball right now. And I oh, don't question. know if the people are appreciating it, but you need to get in the people's head. But I need to be honest to myself as a baseball truther. The best shortstop in baseball right now is Corey Seager. And the people agree with okay. you. He is our number one okay. answer. Corey Seager takes it home. Oh, Bo Bichette. He is on our board at the number four answer, okay. Bo Bichette. Okay, this guy will be on the board. I don't know if he's at number two. I will go with Francisco Lindor. He is on our board, and he is at number three. Okay. As the third best shortstop in baseball. Oh, Trey Turner. He's our number two answer. There it is. Trey Turner is our number two answer. I'm going to try to clear the board. I believe Dansby Swanson should be on this list. I don't know if he is. He's our number five answer, and we get no strikes. You guys easily clear the board. That is awesome. That is four questions in, and Jack with a slim lead. Here's our next question. It's a novella? Whoa. It's the bottom of the ninth inning. So great job. You got two outs. There's a World Series on the line. Which hitter would you pick to save your season? Me? Yeah. Jack Doyle. Freddie Freeman. With such a dominating performance at our number one answer, wow. 58% nope. wow. of the people said Freddie Freeman would be the guy that they chose to save their season. I feel bad pulling that because it's mainly because of me hearing you talk about him. He's the best hitter in baseball. Um, I will go with a safer answer, I believe, and, you know, it is the year of 2023 in the National League. Give me Ronald Acuna Jr. He made our board beating out a very famous player at number five, Ronald oh, Acuna okay. Jr. Okay. Now, I will offer a little bit of clarification. They did pick people who are t- retired as well. There's two people who are not actively playing, but they are very known people. Okay. Wow. I will guess <laughs> Barry Bonds. Made our board at the number three answer, Barry Bonds, okay. which That's I was weird. happy he fell there because I didn't want him to be number one. Feels like he should be it's one or like two. not on the list. How did we? How have we done three for three? That's a such a random group of players. I okay, I'm in the people's heads. He's in it. It's 2023. It's his year, and it's going to continue to be here his year. Show me Shohei Otani. And that is who our guy, Ronald Acuna Jr., beat out. Oh, Barely no. beat him out. He is our number Ow. six answer. Acuna overtook him. Freddie was at 56% over Barry Bonds? It wasn't even what? close. Uh, show me Mike Trout. That is incorrect. Mm. Hey, maybe we have a big L.A. audience. Give me Mookie Betts. That is incorrect. He did receive some votes, but he did not make our top five. My new theory is it's a clutch thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Big Poppy. He's our number four answer. David Ortiz slid onto our board, and it made me really happy. This is the most bizarre list I've ever seen. Like, why is Acuna five? Jordan Alvarez. That is incorrect. Mm -hmm. No one would vote for him if they're putting Barry Bonds three. I got two guesses. I'll throw out, I don't know, Altuve? Incorrect. Not a bad guess, though. Cedar. Incorrect. Jake, I will allow you, not for points, but just for satisfaction. I would say the only two options that I can fathom are Judge or Soto. Neither of those are correct. The narrative changed when he hit a homer in the NLCS. Bryce Harper, people have recently come around on as a very clutch baseball player as he carried Philly to the World Series last year. He's our number two answer. I love you. I love the people. This is the wildest list I've ever seen. This is crazy. We have two more questions to go. Here we go. It is 38-28. So let's try to, let's try to pick up the tempo okay. a little bit Big on this one. Big round for me. Okay. Here is our next question. What are the five best ways to say mm. home run? What are the slang terms for home run? How mm. much did the Wigged Ice fans get into? And I believe it is Jake's. Mm. Uh, 
I will say Dinger. That is our number one answer. Dinger, Jake, huge guess. We're back. I will go with Swamp Donkey. Now, the We Got Us audience did have something to say, is that is our number three answer. Oh. They brought it in. Okay. I would like to believe we've made Swamp Donkeys popular, Jack. Kind of. Kinda. I think something that's transitive for this would be Moonshot. Oh, I like that one. That's incorrect. Uh, that's that's a cool two one. in the middle. I will go with Piss Missile. Oh. Incorrect. Mm. Good one. Um. <laughs> okay, big news. <laughs> Bomb. That is our number two answer. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I will go with Tater. That is our wow. number five yeah, answer. It's and crazy. Come on, guys. As a collective society, Tater. how is Tater being p- beating Piss no. Missile and Moonshot? That's something that Joe Buck is saying. Well, you know, no one wants him. Tater? you Because you could be like, oh, he's got... 50 taters on the year. No way. You can't say he's got 50 piss missiles. True. Good That's point. True. Looks like oh. we're building a list of things you can't bring through airport security. <laughs> <laughs> I like when home runs are called yabos, but I don't think that's on the list. <laughs> that but that's my guess. <laughs> Fred Flintstone? <laughs> Jake, I'm, you don't, I'm not going to even tell you. That's right. Am I struck out? You are not. You only have one X. Oppo Taco. Incorrect. Okay. Back to Jake. Jake does not want it to be back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the other one that's obvious in my head is very close to bomb, so I, I don't know if I should guess nuke. But, like, that is a bomb. That is incorrect. Jack? Mm, good guess. That is a good guess. Homer? I wouldn't allow that. That's incorrect. Mm. You said it was obvious. It is dong. Okay. It's the number four answer. Did I have another strike? Now you struck out. Well, that brings us to our final round, and it is still a tight game. Big round for Jake. He closed the gap to a five-point lead. Hi, Mom. Jack, you have our first <laughs> guest, and we have my favorite question I've ever gathered information for. And I have a plenty of hints to help you guys along the way here. Which MLB player would you pick as your cornhole teammate? Mookie Betts. Is our number Ooh, one right. answer, it's Mookie, Mookie Betts. And it's Mookie. so obvious. Yeah, it's You're Mookie. picking nobody else but Mookie Betts to be your cornhole teammate. These are all active players. These are all active Every players. Punches at three. <laughs> <laughs> if they were inactive what? players, that's crazy. I'm going to go John Boy Media Effect and go Aaron Judge. I mean, Jake. That is incorrect. Mm. You wouldn't want to play cornhole. He's too Judge. tall. Freddie Freeman. <laughs> Incorrect. Mm. I may need a hint. All right, one of them is known personality-wise, a bit of a weirdo. The guy who's known as that Zach Krinky, I'd have to assume. This is insane. Dansby Swanson. Now, mm. I think it is Zach Krinky. Zach Krinky's our number five answer. He but is see, on I, our I board. I didn't think it was a good answer. Yeah, it isn't. Okay, so now. <laughs> Back to you. For those of you that haven't been our shoes, now I'm looking at a board that has Mookie <laughs> at the top, Zach Grinky at the bottom, and potentially Barry Bonds in the middle. Yeah. And it is daunting. It's like an MVP ballot. There is no Barry Bonds in this category. Bryce Harper. He is on our board. He's our number four answer, Bryce Harper. Harper oh, no. oh. raise up. I kind of want to throw it to Schwarber. I'm going to do it, Schwarber. That is incorrect. Mm. I feel like he'd be fun. You both have two strikes. There are two answers remaining on the board. Show me Clayton Kershaw. He is correct. He is our number three answer. What? How did you get that? Mookie, Dodgers, Grinky. Yeah. I thought pitchers would be more popular because, like, accuracy. Yeah. True. I was thinking Wainwright. Let's end it up. Let's play the board. TK Hernandez. Ooh, good guess. Incorrect. Mm. I struck it. I'm between Tatis and Jazz Chisholm. I'll go Tatis. I mean, neither of them are playing mm. those guys. They'd be like bedazzled. The correct answer is Joey Votto is our oh, number two yeah. answer. We <laughs> Jake does not want to play corn <laughs> with Joey Votto. Mookie, Votto, Kershaw, Harper, and Grinky? I actually that's don't like hate the that worst list. That's Look the start of, I've ever seen. That's it. the start of a joke. So congratulate. Congratulations, Jack. This was Baseball Feud 4. Subscribe and let us know what you want me to ask them next time. Bye-bye.